Okay, guys, we are back. It's your boy, Still Supremo, with another uh, VGC Pokemon Wi Fi battle. Currently, this is just casual play, so take that in mind. Uh, I just want to try out some of these concepts. Uh, I did not see the brief timing of uh, which mods I brought. So we're gonna we're gonna pause and I'm gonna come back knowledgeable. Hey guys, uh, coming back knowledgeable. I actually brought Hariyama and Spirit Tomb to uh, begin with, and it should be Obama Snow and Gastrodon in the back. While well, he brings out his Cinderace and Oranguru. So far, this looks like a good, pretty good matchup. I think we could survive a uh, Psychic from Oranguru. But we do have the fake out, and we're gonna fake out into Cinderace. But we could also fake out an Oranguru. But if it's the uh, not telepath telepathy, we're just going to do damage and not get a flinch from uh, using that move. So right now I'm just debating on if I should just use foul play, try to do as much damage, or get the trick room. I decided just to use the trick room. And uh, honestly, that fake out damage didn't seem like it would do a lot. Survive the psychic. And there's no real, like, uh, I would say, obviously the Trick Room would be the niche gimmick. And we have the uh, Slush Rush Seatin, Sea Titan in, in this uh, team. And now I guess that would be the main gimmick. But, uh, yeah, I just really wanted to throw, throw together a team. But right now, we are going to decide to use the knockoff in the Ring Guru. Hopefully, like, miraculously one-hit KO it. Because we are Guts. And uh, with the trick room out, we should be faster than everything. And right here, I'm just uh, debating if I should do all this damage. Alright, we're going to go with the foul play. And um, this is the weird part about this. That Cinderace was slower than my uh, Hariyama. Why? In what world? But once again, this is casual play. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just shook right now. It's like, why did my Hariyama die? I'm going to send in my Gastrodon. I just didn't want to raw switch into this because I don't want to go into a whole psychic move. And I feel like that's going to do a lot of damage to my Gastrodon. Even though this would be more of a specially defensive set. Because um, it should be 100... EVs into the attack and to spread out um, EVs in the uh, special defense and defense because with curse we can just raise up that deep the lacking defense and uh, a lot of water moves are special special attack so we don't have to worry about that in that type of end we have the fire terra to uh, cover our resistances like grass and even steel but, all right Actually doesn't do anything. We pull off the miraculous uh, ally switch, and uh, we're just gonna try to settle for Gastron, get him all ready and set up, and he becomes a problem. And man, do I love ally switch! I honestly could not pinpoint which gen this got added. If I had to guess, it was Gen Eight, but I could be it could, it could have been added a long time ago. Uh, earliest Gen 7, but nonetheless, our Gastrodon eats both of those uh, Pyro Balls pretty well. Uh, we're just going to recover now since we know we can just take a good amount of those and just keep cursing and hopefully be able to late game carry with Gastron if anything goes terribly wrong. While my uh, Spirit Team is just basically here to support and if they get out of hand or try to uh, set up, we have foul play to uh, correct that, you know? Get a little bit of straightening. Um, the recover actually goes through. I think we have a couple more turns of Trick Room. If I had to guess, it would be two. Cinderace ends up getting uh, bopped by the liquidation. And who, who's a Ranguru instructing? Well, who, who's he in class with? No one. Because your partner is dead. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he basically wasted a whole turn. Sends out his King Gamut the Sleepy. That's that's Thanos. I can't wait till I get my own. That is Thanos, How the, just the way he just comes out and just sitting down. 
He was ready for this. Um, as you can see, we have, I think, one more turn of Trick Room. We're going to use the Helping Hand, and I'm debating if I want to use Earthquake, but I don't want to do damage to my uh, Spirit Tomb, but we end up just using it. And hopefully with the Helping Hand, we do a significant amount of damage. It's going to tear Dark type, so I would assume he would be using his Kotal. Did I, did I get that right? Cleaver? Is it Kotal Cleave? Earthquake. Yeah, bring Spirit to my half. He's able to eat his berry on Groot. Oranguru goes down. When have you ever seen a ghost just start eating a berry out of nowhere? Then it, where does it keep it? Where's the pockets? Our Spirit Tomb eats the berry, and here's the Kotal. Koto, <laughs> Kalto, Cleave, holy, and we eat that phenomenally. So right now I'm just, what does he have in the back? If it's a special attacker, that could bring some problems towards us. But right now we are in such a good position. This game, it's actually is uh, bravery. So, um, best case scenario right now because both these are physical attackers, and my Gaston is okay. I can just use recover unless he has some type of shenanigans. So right here, I am opting to Trick Room to once again get the speed advantage and recover. Oh, and it's Rock to Rock Slide. So he's able to get some type of Flint checks, possibly. He's going to actually Koto Cleave into my Spirit Tomb, making it not able to uh, really do anything this turn. But I feel like I got my mileage out of it. I got the one Trick Room, and that's honestly all you can ask for. You know, you get your, you got your rocks off, man. You're able to uh, at least get Trick Room up and have the speed advantage for that time being, unless they do have another Trick Room, like Reverse, Reverser on their team, I guess, to counter it. But this one does. I want to get Aurora revealed just to make sure my Gastrodon is like tucked in tight, you know, to see the Aurora Borealis. Okay, we can say that, but we can't say Co Cow Tau <laughs> Cleave, bro. But we're going to end up Terra Water. And uh, just for the resistance, so we just don't get popped. <clears throat> uh, get the Aurora Reveal. We're the fastest on the field. We're, right now, we're just Timid, Light, light Clay, and with uh, Max Special Attack Special and uh, Speed. Sorry. It's going to get the Rock Slide. It's going to coat out. Koto to cleave into the garage, John. Does absolutely nothing. I get my get my curse off. You know? And we still going. So right now I believe we're at plus three or plus four and we're just a problem right now. There's nothing else like there's nothing we can say about Gastron is just a unit that they have to respect on this field at the moment. Uh now this he has a choice. He can double into to the Gastron, but my uh, Bomb Snow can just use a Blizzard. Hopefully, God pray, I don't miss uh, at least twice, because I believe it, it will live, even if they double up into it twice. I will get mileage out of this thing. Got its light screen and did what I had to do. Mission accomplished. But it even gets a little bit, you know, gets a little bit more mileage by bringing both of these down to, uh, I would say, one fourth HP. And my Gastrodon's just schmoving in the snow, just slipping, slipping and sliding. Ends up dodging the rock slide. Eats the cold toe cleave. We're going to say it different each time. You're right. Um, we're just going to get another curse up. And we're just valid now. Uh, and this is honestly where I would say I would risk the game. For no reason. Because I would just go recover here. He, If he gets a flinch, I shouldn't die in the two interactions. And hopefully get a flinch after four. After he attacks me four times, of course. If that was the scenario. But Blizzard ends up just taking out both his mons while, you know, Gastrodon, you know, it did what it needed to do this game. It just showed its power. It showed who was the true Thanos. He was doing a little bit too much. He was sitting down, but you saw how he's trying to be interactable with the game. But that's the end of this match. I hope you like this uh, video. Like and subscribe. Um, yeah, get ready for some more uh, content. Oh, one more thing. There will be a transitional. I'll be trying out teams, so hopefully you like the videos and teams. Bye. Yeah.